It is super suspicious, though. Like I've said this before, York. A lot of the stuff York does is incredibly suspicious, and almost all of his accusations have no evidence. And it's just literally, I I saw it. Yeah, yeah George George killed everyone. He he said so. And so have you got any like evidence at all? And so like, I've got his corpse that I made. He got struck by lightning after we had a fight on a roof. We just went, okay, we'll take your word for it, because we've got no one else to say otherwise. Oh, we're back in the car, eh? Okay. I thought there might be a little summation. I don't know why we're at the river again, but cool. Oh, I, York's gone. Do you know what? Maybe I should actually investigate the crime scene properly. Oh, why is York getting all veiny now? Oh. York! Agent York! York! Agent York! York! Agent York! Oh, it's interesting because I, I remember that from one of the trailers and I thought that was hey, Isaac and Isaiah. Agent York! Agent York? Hey! <laughs> hey, Agent York. <sighs> oh. You're Lise Lee. Clarkson. Ah. What's wrong? You're acting weird. Sorry, Patty, I'm fine now. York's starting to connect More to the red room. Do these red seeds come from some kind of plant that grows around this area? I don't know. What do I look like, a botanist? This isn't your average backwoods town. The Clarkson's ego and control has been piercing the town's heart like a massive dinosaur bone. But over this past century... Time has been busy eroding the beast's power from within. It's a and now, simile. the very thing that once fortified this town is polluting it with putrid gas and rotten marrow. Zack, this is the point where it all collapses. I, I... Alright, so, I mean, I... I... I finished the bit that I was going to say, but that's cool. They, um, they, it's like they're showing York's connecting, like he's entering the red world now. He now that he's come into contact with the seeds, and like, because all throughout Deadly Premonition he would see the the dead people running around all over the place, and now he's now it's sort of like this is that that's kind of the first time he's actually initialized. Hi, Danny. <laughs> initialized his connection. Just, Danny's just here, um, but. Now, my objective at the moment is to investigate the crime scene. I feel like this is, again, and I said this at the time, and I maintain this, this is something we should have done 90 hours ago. <laughs> like, we should have done this day one. Stop following friggin' Hoongan. And his, and his, just, and just do your job in a logical order. Did you notice anything strange before your daddy went missing? Did he seem different from usual? Or say things that didn't make sense? Nope. He was the same as always. We talked a lot. I reckon he was in a better mood than usual. Almost even too talkative. Zack, she's putting on a strong face, but it's clear that she's very worried. Let's try and cheer her up a bit. What's the best thing to say in times like these? You don't need to worry about me, Agent York. Let's just focus on the work we have left to do. Unfortunately, it looks like your parents disappearing is connected with this case somehow. Yeah, I know. Melvin seems to love you so much. It's hard for me to believe he would just disappear and leave you all alone. Something must be afoot here. I wish I could tell you I'm sure they're okay, even without any evidence. But I hate lies, Patty. I can't guarantee that they're safe. That's my honest opinion. I'm trying to prepare myself for it, but I want to hope that they're okay. 
of course. Zach and I feel the same way, but if you happen to think of anything that might help, please let me know. Even the tiniest piece of information could end up coming in handy. Yeah, I understand. But I really don't know anything. I just feel like I know that Mama's okay somehow. Meaning? Even when we're apart, I can always tell how my Mama's feeling. You know, like how twins can sense each other's feelings? But that's it. I can't tell where she is or what she's doing. Besides, I'm just a kid. Can't really trust what I'm saying, can you? Zack, it seems like she and her mother possess some kind of secret bond. But we shouldn't try to force it out of her. Yes, you're exactly right. Let's just keep our eyes on her for now. Okay, and we've had a chat with, uh, chat with Patty. Hi, Danny. Just do me a kindness and shut up. You know, I envy the dead. They ain't got to watch out anyone and they'll die. I lost all my motivation. Just what the hell did I do to deserve this? Hey, what do you think you're staring at? Shit, the brains. You want to take a dive? So this is where this is where I was skipping the stones, and then Danny was here, and I talked to Danny, and then uh, I was like, oh, I've started a side quest, and um, yeah, so I'm guessing it's just the time of day is he's here. Look, red seeds. The growth is all missing from this particular section. It wasn't just cutaway. She used fire to burn it out. Everything was planned so meticulously, as if she wanted to show this altar to someone. That's why Chuck ended up discovering it. Okay. After Lise Clarkson was murdered, her body was put back together here. Just like how Galena's body was dismembered, then rearranged within the holding cell. Lena Doman and PJ's bodies were also blown to pieces in the end. Perhaps that's the nature of the curse that's taken hold of the Clarksons. What do you think, Zach? Is there any significance to these similarities? I feel like PJ and Lena are going to be difficult to put back together. This altar is covered in burn marks, but there's hardly any residue left. There's no way for me to tell what was burned here. I could send it home for analysis, but is that really necessary? Again, yes, do your job. It'll just end up giving Abrahams more busy work. More importantly, Zach, someone who knew how to manipulate fire was behind all this. In other words, these roots prove that Lena was here. And that's enough for me. <laughs> the FBI reading this part later said, well, York said that was enough for him, so we're just, yeah, we're just gonna take it. These bridge beams have a very unique shape to them. One straight support in the center, reinforced by V-shaped columns coming up diagonally from the sides. Ah, oh, it's the red tree. Did this bridge always look like this? Oh well, I'm sure it has nothing to do with this case. Let's move on with the inspection, Zach. Oh, York. How little you There's know. There's some decomposing cloth here. We saw the same type of cloth at the sugarcane plantation. They must have used that cloth when they transported Lisa's body. But who cares about mundane evidence like that? This isn't a case that can be solved by gathering the kind of evidence we'd need to submit to a court. No, this is the kind of evidence that we get by shooting people and killing them, and then they can't they can't say that they weren't in it they weren't guilty. There's a flat, evenly weighted stone here. I bet we could use this to score an amazing stone skipping record. Let's give it a try whenever we get some downtime. For now, we need to focus on this investigation, Zach. Zach, this is an ominous sign. Among all the different footprints here are a set made from engineer boots. Yes, I know, I know. He probably only made them when he came to inspect the scene. I'm sure that Patty and I left our own set of prints here, too. But how do you explain the set that's inside the yellow tape? Oh, I didn't inspect the red seats. Dang it. Why would you why would you stop before I investigated everything? Bloody investigation man. FBI! Yay, what the hell are okay. you doing back here? So 
to talk to Patty again. So, what other movies have you seen on that sci-fi movie channel? What? That question again? What did I tell you? In this country, all dialogues. Okay, okay, I'll answer it. Um, I need to think of a movie that Schwarzenegger wasn't in. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay, I got one. It's a film about people who travel around the world in 80 days. I think it was a remake of an older one. They went to a bunch of different countries, and there was tons of CG, so it was fun to watch. It starred some kung fu guy and a British man. Sorry, but they didn't ask your beloved Arnold S. to be in this one. Around the World in 80 Days, 2004. Directed by Frank Karachi, starring Jackie Chan and Steve Coogan. Unfortunately, Patty, it appears that you didn't watch this film closely enough. I did too. Then you must have been far too distracted. He's in it, Patty. In it? Who is? Wait, no, it can't be. That's right. Arnold S. is in that movie. You're lying! There's no way! I mean, he was already governor of California by the time that movie came out. You're exactly right. In October of 2003, he became the new governor of California. But he was still able to appear in the film, since it was in a small enough capacity not to interfere with his governing duties. You can find him in the Istanbul segment. What? I sort of remember the Istanbul part, but... The prince? The prince with the crazy hairdo? That's right. He played Prince Hoppy, a romantic with long hair, skilled at telling stories and playing the guitar. He was so in character. Even I didn't recognize him at first glance. Flawless makeup, hairstyling, costume design, and impeccable acting. I was speechless. I believe that entering the political world only allowed him to further widen his acting repertoire. His acting was always so realistic and full of presence. But then, he went and added elaborate technique on top of it. Perfection. Patty, I'm now convinced that you've been seduced by his charm without even realizing it. That's why you've been unconsciously seeking out films that he appears in. You don't need to feel embarrassed. It's a perfectly natural phenomenon. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get back to the investigation. Come on, please. You're right, Patty. This is no time for idle chatter. We have two important goals now. Solving this case and finding your daddy. Let's get back to work. No more chit-chat. You heard her, Zach. We need you to focus as well. Oh, <laughs> I just thought it was funny. Chuck was like, hey, and like, hey, so what's another film you've seen? <laughs> but I guess the, the one... There you go. I guess the, the, the conversation that got interrupted uh, that I got really annoyed about, actually the last time I went to go visit Chuck, she mentioned she because they were about to start talking about films and i guess she was going to mention a uh, another arnold schwarzenegger film and that's the that's the joke is that all of the films she's seen are arnold schwarzenegger films and she just doesn't know it you already solved the case yeah so go on just out of town why do you think i solved the case Shoot! Exactly how stupid are you, FBI? This is Luke Carre, remember? Every fella in town already knows that Professor Orr's the one behind all this shit. Hey, Chuck. Can you see the altar from there? I'd see the whole damn thing. Along with your stupid ass standing there, trying to act all smart and shit. You told me that the poacher's boat you were chasing disappeared around this area, correct? Yeah, that's what I said, all right. What, you forget already? If you're just gonna waste our tax dollars out here, least you can do is catch them goddamn poachers. Fucking FBI, go and make yourself useful for once in your damn life. Chuck, we don't chase down fishing boats. Unless it's a terrorist boat that plans to overthrow our government, that is. Huh. Then stop acting all leery, like I ain't being truthful or whatever. I'm busy too, you know. So long, FBI. <laughs> I really like Chuck. He's probably my favorite. Uh, he's top, top, he's definitely top five, because I like Patty as well. Patty's probably my favorite character. Zach, but, um... you just taught us what the true purpose of this altar is. But I really like him. He's just like, stop dicking about. 
I, I, my tax dollars pay for you. Do your job. It was built here so that the ritual could be watched from a boat in the bayou. What do you mean? They could have just walked out here. There's no reason why they had to watch it from a boat. The goddess of fertility, Patty. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. We don't have to use any critical thinking. We'll just we'll let Hungan tell us what we need to do next. Great. I love this plot device. Oh, hey, Hungan. It's really tempting to just talk to Patty again. <laughs> The goddess of fertility. A fine name indeed. So much blood has been shed, yet you remain in this town. Surely you know why. Of course I do, Hoongan. My work here isn't finished yet. You know, I could really use one of your oracles right now. Ho 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 ho! Do your damn job. All right, you lazy shit. You're more fun than I thought. Here's the oracle you ask for. Listen with your heart. Speak to the 17 comrades who saw the birth of New Orleans. Feel the holy Allah. The giant lady's finger points down toward your goal. The entrance to the forbidden. Poetic and graceful as ever, Hoongan. <laughs> oh, I... I don't know. I wonder if Hoongan's ever going to get explained. Hoongan's oh, oracles are leading us toward the core of this case. That's the one thing I'm sure of. But don't misunderstand, Zack. I'm not blindly following him. Yes, you are. I only follow my intuition. Your intuition so far has been to blindly follow him. We went and played bowling for just no other reason other than because Hungan told you to. Metaphysical offender profiling. That's all there is to it. Shut up with your bullshit. The 17 comrades must refer to some area that has 17 of the same thing in it. We may need to use history to figure this one out. After all, we need to find someone or something that saw the birth of New Orleans. That's not it, Zack. Okay. The 17 comrades must have survived for a shockingly long time. Graveyard. Remember, they were here to see the birth of New Orleans. Uh, fine, all right. Well, memorials. We can't just round up every last old person in. That's it, Zack. That's no tree. The French established the colony of La Nouvelle Orléans in 1718. Just about 300 years ago. The only 17 comrades that would have been around back then are the 300-year-old oak trees along this road. A majestic road lined by oak trees. Come on, let's go ask these sages of Lucare for some help on our investigation. Patty, we're gonna go talk to some trees. Why, why are we doing that, Agent York? Because the man in the river told me to. Like, the fact that Patty's still putting up with York after all this Zach, bullshit is... the Holy Allah is a shockingly simple metaphor. It's just amazing. Especially considering the quality of the oracles we've received thus far. It seems as if Hoongan's poetic muse is finally running dry. The great thing about us Americans is that we can recreate our homeland anywhere. We're happy to transport crunchy bacon across the deserts of Africa if we need to. That's what it means to be American. And this holy Allah is just another example of that. From the early days of the frontier era, they've been helping us Americans be what we've always meant to be. I don't Zach, know what... If the Holy Allah needs to be filled, things must be dire. Imagine what would happen if the Holy Allah would run dry. The townspeople would instantly face multiple serious problems. I mean, it's the water tower. They'd lose their domestic water, of course, but it would also affect their irrigation and industrial water. It would be a much greater crisis than simply losing the ability to take a shower. No one would be able to make fresh coffee either. We definitely need to finish up with this oracle before that happens. Like, I know it's the... I don't know what an Ola is, but I know that it's the water tower. But I do like that he just kept giving me clues until I clicked That's on it. That's it. I never doubted you, Zack. The Holy Ala refers to a water tower. Specifically that water tower with its Clarkson family crest. It must be hiding some sort of clue. 
Let's fill the ala and see what it yields. Is there another oracle? No. Okay, just those two. Well, there was something about a giant's finger, but I guess that stuff comes later. Zack, what do you think the giant lady's finger is? I'm at a loss. I never thought one of Hoongan's childish riddles would force me to think so hard. But, oh well. I'm pretty sure the giant lady is the Mississippi. Um, so then it would be the finger, be the river I'm that sure comes that off as of we it. deal with the rest of the oracle, it'll reveal itself to us. Like, that one seems pretty obvious. The, the holy, like, all York saying, oh, the holy Ola, that one's really obvious. I can't believe Hungan's trying to trick us with this thing. It's like, the giant lady, Mississippi. Oh. Come on, York. What? What? Is there something on my face? Listen carefully, Patricia. As my skilled assistant, I trust you a great deal. So I want you to answer me honestly. Answer what? Do you have any idea where Melvin might have gone? No. He didn't seem to be acting or talking differently than usual? No. I don't think so. Okay. I believe your words. Zack, we have a lot of work to do. It feels like we're finally approaching the climax here. Uh, I get the feeling we're still a ways out. <sighs> okay. Cool. So I have two new quests. Go to the water tower and do the other thing. So, I'm gonna go and do those. Well, what I'm gonna go to do is go and save and then stop playing. What I'm also going to do is I'm gonna see if I can unlock another suit. Um, because we are down to... How many stamps do I need? Oh, that's okay. So I still need eight. I haven't locked any more. So I need to get eight stamps and they'll get me another suit, which I think I can get. I think I can I can grind something quite easily to get um, the suits. Annoyingly, uh, and I, I am quite annoyed about this, I haven't turned in this mission. I got the final mission for Melvin. Still need 30 killer bees, 20 or 30 wild dogs. And file a report of the bulletin board in the sheriff's office. Oh, I can do it at the bulletin board. Um, I don't actually have to talk to Melvin. Okay, I can maybe still turn this one in. I'm going to be annoyed. I was just annoyed that um, I hadn't done that one, and I just hadn't done it because the, the the fighting the thirty alligators is tedious because it's the second time he's made me do it. Um, okay, but that's cool. So I I will. Uh, I'm gonna. See if I can finish off these. Um... In fact, yeah, I've I've got that one. I'm gonna go and finish off these side quests, and I think in doing so, I should unlock another uh, another suit. So next time, you'll get to see me wearing a nice fancy suit, which I'm sure you'll be thrilled about. What do you mean you're not? How dare you? Anyway, until then, Jack Manning. Paddy seems to be... See... Okay. <laughs> well, there's a lot... I was going to do... I was supposed to do an introduction there, and then Paddy got stuck in a, a recurring loop of teleporting, and then Danny just drove by standing on his pink car. Uh, is he going to the bowling alley? I don't know that Danny went to the bowling alley. Uh, I'm back. Uh, we're back, by the way. Um, salutations, Jackman here. We are back in Deadly Premonition. So I got very distracted. I, I was literally, I was like, all right, do my intro, and then this Patty was doing things, and then yeah, Danny's over here. I didn't know that Danny came to the uh, bowling alley. I'm just gonna. I've never seen him in the bowling alley before. This is exciting. I mean, as exciting as talking to an NPC in. Um, an area of the game is. I've seen him at the bar, and he drunkenly told me to leave him alone. I I just want to see what he does when he's here. Look, he's all he's actually talking as well. Look. Just do me a kindness and shut up. 
Old bag short on a protection fee this week. Probably could think she can get away with it because I'm just the son-in-law. Give me some bullshit about how she can't pay me what she ain't got. Maybe if she cooks some real food instead of all that redneck slop, she'd start making some real cash. Yeah, okay. Oh my lord. Clarkson's must have lost their damn minds. Now they got their own family members killing each other. I just, okay. I've never wanted to kill anyone, not even that big brother of mine. But now the case is finally closed, right? Ain't you excited to finally get out of the boonies? Oh my lord. Um. <laughs> easy. See if she's got now. Come back in. You. I haven't. I, I, there, there's a stamp for eating um, all of the food at her restaurant. I've unlocked all of the food, but I haven't eaten it all. I think I'm probably missing the rice and beans that she serves on Monday because I didn't actually eat it. I just got the tin. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, I just, just. Sorry, that was a. That wasn't how I intended to start this episode. I just got distracted by Danny standing on his car and driving around town. It's not actually, I will say, it's actually not the first time that's happened. It has happened to me before. Um, I have seen him do that. It's a reoccurring glitch, but it's still, it's an eye turner, you know, it's a, it's, it's a distraction. So I have, um, between recordings, gone and unlocked, uh, I can put it a load of side, more side quests, um, I really wish the side quests had voice acting because the the after you do I finally finally got the friggin Tyrone to um I said the and then I was gonna say Pasta and then I went I remember his name is Tyrone so I said the Tyrone but yes the Tyrone to acknowledge that I was poisoned and the next one after that is to get dead drunk and the dialogue of York being completely sloshed is great. Uh, and I really wish it had been voice acted because it just ends with him shouting DRINKING! And then he passes out and you wake up an hour later in the church in the uh, lying on a pew. Um, drinking, by the way, is something that Sweary refers to himself as because he's um, he likes drinking. So he calls himself the Drinking. Which, as someone who has a character called the Jack King, I can fully appreciate the pun. Hey, you might notice I've got a new suit. So this is the side quest suit. So I mentioned ages ago that there was a side quest you can get for doing more lots of dry cleaning. Uh, and I, I managed to get that to trigger and I've got my new suit. I actually have a fifth suit, which I got for getting 80 stamps. So that will probably take me up until the end of the day, uh, up until the end of the game, I think, because... I don't know, after, I think you only play as York in 2005 for this section now, and then the rest of it, once it goes back to Boston, the rest of it's in the future, I think. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay on the greens, depending on how, I don't know how this episode plays out, this episode might be really, really, really long, but depending on how this episode plays out, I'm going to... Um, Stay in my green suit and then switch to the other new suit I've got when I go before I head to the other world. But we will uh, we'll see how this plays out. So I am supposed to come and visit the the trees and then the water tower. So the marker is pointing me down here. Oh, another thing um, I got. I'm guessing it's that rock over there. Another thing I got is I completed the uh, I completed the Tyrone's side quests. So there's two sets of side quests. There's the first set which gives you the bead, and then there's a second set which are really boring. You have to answer a question about biology, and he he will only ask you one question a day, and you have to keep coming back for three days. But he gives you the flashlight, and I was like, I wonder what the flashlight does because I already when it gets dark. I have a flashlight. It lets you search both uh, in these and it freezes every time it does it. I don't know why. And also, um, I've seen them around town, around town a load of times. There's like mole hills. Um, if you... Um, so you get $100 each time you do one as well. Sim similar if you open up a rusted um, thing, you get £100 knife master bonus. It's actually quite good. Um, so I'm just, uh, there's a stamp, I'm probably not, I, I don't think I'm going to get another 40 stamps, but there's a stamp for getting 
uh, from buying stuff from ten different vending machines. So whenever I see a vending machine I haven't accessed, I just I've just been buying stuff from it until I unlock it. I really don't think I'm gonna get another 40 stamps before the end of the game. I think with this, I think the suits I've got now are all the suits I'm going to get. So sorry about that. There aren't any. There aren't enough easy wins. I know. I know you're you're devastated by the news, but there aren't enough easy wins left that I can just Zach, get another do you 40 sense that? without really going out and don't, don't do some ball breaking grinding. These trees have watched over this land for the past 300 years. Long before the Clarksons built up their town, these trees were here. If they could speak, I wonder what they'd have to say about this case. <laughs> Very little. Has because... there always been a different number of trees on each side? I imagine because most of the very little of the cases happened on this road, and the trees are probably just like. I mean, honestly, people. I mean, you you got the yeah the, the sugar plantation, the jail, the Clarkson's house. These are all really far away from where we are. We're kind of the thing about trees. They're kind of stationary, only kind of. Yeah, I heard that by the time our town came along, there were only seventeen left. Ooh. There's a stump with roots. Look! A general from the south might have cut one down during the Civil War. Intriguing, Patty. Why did he cut one down? I don't know. Folks say he planted a red tree in its place. I don't know if that's true or not, though. I don't know if that relates to all of the people who have been shouting Red Tree at me over and over again. Nah, Hoongan hasn't said anything about it, so it's probably unrelated. Zack, the shape of these seeds. They look just like the ones we saw at Lisa's altar. Patty, it appears that legend about the red tree wasn't a total lie. The first tree is withered and gone, but the shells from its seeds remain. Perhaps that red tree left some descendants somewhere else. <gasps> oh my god! It's Willy. That was, that was out of nowhere. I heard the dog bark and I went, no. And it's just straight up Willy. I'm glad to see that in 10 years he still looks barely recognizable as a dog. Zach, he seems to know something that we don't. Okay, York has to lose his memory between after this case. There has to be something that just wipes his mind and he just like forgets all about this case because there is no excusing the amount of stuff he should have known by the time he got to Greenvale, including the the the, the red tree, the seeds of the red trees and Willie. Doesn't it seem like he's trying to guide us somewhere? Um, what? What's going on? Change of plans, Patty. Let's go on a little stroll with that Dalmatian. <laughs> So poorly animated, I love it. So like you know when dogs bark, what they do is they the servos <laughs> wind down so you can get into a bark position it goes executing bark Rawr! returning to a normal pose. Alright, we're following Willy. So this is it. I I love the implication here that Willy has just been following York around for years. Oh, if we go back to Boston and it turns out that York has been just bothering, uh, Willie has just been bothering York for like the, the nine years since Greenvale. <laughs> he just like sits outside of his house and stuff and that's why York doesn't like going outside. He's just like, don't want to go outside because that bloody dog's there. Oh, I can't believe it's Willy. He was in the opening credits, uh, in the sort of opening crawl. So I was fully expecting. I mean, so I thought, oh, I wonder if that's just a cheeky nod to him, or whether he will actually be in the game. And just yeah, he's right. He's right here. 
So it's really curious, because, like, Swery said that Willy... They never explained this in Deadly Premonition 1, but Swery explained, said afterwards that Willy was going to be Kaysen's handler. Um, and that it was... And that Willy was the... Ma I know where he's taking me. Um, Willy was the mastermind behind everything all along. But that never got explained, and that was obviously, so like, after, I think that was between Deadly Premonition and Deadly Premonition Director's Cut. So the Director's Cut came out, and then they then put in a whole thing with York growing old and having a grandchild, which obviously never happened now, is according to this game, because he's probably going to die in his 40s, I think he is, in by 2019. Um... Just as an aside, I really hate this, where the NPC moves at a different... I have two speeds. I have walk and sprint. Well, I have run... I have walk, run, and sprint. And Willy moves at a, a, a speed in between walk and sprint, so I have to constantly just s slow down and keep speeding back up again to keep up with him. Otherwise, I'll overtake him. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so that that stuff all then got... When they released Origins on Switch, they cut that stuff back out again because it wasn't relevant to... Uh, it obviously wasn't canon anymore because they now made... I, I guess Swery made that when he assumed that he would never be able to make Deadly Premonition 2. And then, you now he obviously... As you can see from this game, he made Deadly Premonition 2. Spoilers. Um, I think we're all like part 18 now. Shouldn't come as a surprise that this game exists 18 parts in. I know sometimes it, it's a bit of a surprise that this game exists. It's even though it's being 18 parts in. And sometimes it's like, I don't think this game... I mean, this game hasn't been finished 18 parts in, but it does exist. So, it's entirely possible that he's changed his mind on that. And Willy is actually a good guy. And like, maybe he was keeping tabs on Kaysen because he was like... I don't know. I'd be interested to see what they, what, how they develop Willy. I, it's, it's it's a weird series when you're interested in the development of a dog. Anyway, yeah, I found this red tree skating around the park. Uh, sorry, it's not a park. Skating around. Look, oh god, those trees look so bad now that they've reduced the draw distance. Um, I found this tree skating around uh, Lacare ages ago. So I was like, okay, so this, this place and then that place. And this is where I came to fight gators because there's all, the, all this entire water is just filled with uh, gators. So it's a good place to uh, to farm them. Red tree! Oh. I love that triple question mark. Is, is this the red tree that General planted? Such a mechanical dog. Just every time he barks, he has to go into a certain pose. No way! This is a maple tree. Is it? A maple tree? Then it shouldn't be red at this time of year. I will say I have found another red tree. Um, and it looks way more sinister than this one. There's a red tree on the Clarkson's estate. And there's also a red tree in Lena's backyard. I didn't look at that very closely. And it's got those both have... I, well, the one in um, the Clarkson estate has vines, like, really sinister. It's really sin It's way more sinister than this. This does just look like a red tree. You're right. That's strange. A long time ago, my mama and daddy used to come here together a lot. They told me they used to go on dates here, back before I was born. That's not a good sign. Mama would make sandwiches, then they'd come here and eat them together. My mama was really pretty, you know. When I was a kid, I believed she was a real goddess. Under the boughs of a legendary tree that stayed red all year long, a small miracle was born. One man managed to win the heart of the most beautiful girl in the world, and they call him Melvin Woods. Looks like it's time to move on. He's like, I tire of this, humans! What a fantastic guide we managed to find. He actually waited for us to finish talking before taking us on to the next <laughs> spot. Yeah, Willie does that. He's like... <laughs> In fact, yeah, I, the, the, when Willie was leading Kaysen and um, Emily to Thomas, 
he did the exact same thing and that he was like stopped and then let them let Kaysen talk about all the bullshit Kaysen talked about and then moved on. I don't know where he's taking us now then. This is exciting. I wonder if I can skateboard after him. I'm going a little, this is a this is more reasonable, but I'm still Nope. Nope, come on. There wasn't even a curb there, you just This is, because he's going in a straight line A to B and not like following the roads. I don't know that this is going to work as well. But I am matching his speed a lot better on a skateboard. Maybe Willie's going to take me on a tour of all the red trees in the car, which is upsetting because one of the cars, one of the red trees, as I mentioned, is on the um, Clarkson's estate, which is really, really, really far away. Well, we're in this for the long haul. Yeah. Where is he taking us? Also, I'm 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 upset that the song, the bizarre song that played when you chased Will Willy. Willy. Damn you, Willy, and your rotations. The bizarre song that played when you followed Willy the first time. When you, when again, when you were playing as Emily and following Willy with Kaysen. I'm upset that that song isn't playing. In fact, just no, it is just the, the, the standard Overworld theme that's playing. Ah. Uh... Like, of all of... I did say very early on when I heard some of the original music return, I was like, I, I really hope that song makes a return because it was just... It was so bizarre. Like, it, I... The mu the Whoever was in charge... I, it couldn't have been Sweary. Whoever was in charge... I don't know, it could have been Sweary. I don't know. I don't know how involved he is with... Like, how involved, like, the director and... Normally they have, like... Normally they have like a separate, like music person. Yes, I think, I'm pretty sure that's their official title. They have a separate music person for the music. Similar, to, you know, is this, the writer and director doesn't necessarily draw everything. You know, they got a different art director and stuff. Hang on, Willie. There's a rusted dumpster here. I'm just gonna crack open. Three hundred dollars and a medium quality plate. I'm not gonna say no to that. Oh, I um, don't know if I can actually show you the stats, but I finished the bead. I got all the the beads, and I finished the quest. Where are we going? I finished the quest. Um, literally, to can that? Could you not just have put these trees closer together, Sweary? I think he is. I think he is actually taking me to. Um, Lena's house, and then he's then going to take me to the Clarkson estate because those are the two, those are the, where I found the three red trees so far. And I think. Yeah, we're. I mean, <laughs> yeah, we're halfway across town. Jesus. Okay. Oh no, is that a red tree? That is differently coloured. Oh, maybe this is the next... Maybe they'll look at this one and then he'll take us to Alina's house and we'll see the red tree in her garden. Red tree? I understand now why the red tree is question marks as well, because it's like, is this the red tree? Hey, Patty. How would you rate this creation? bad, I reckon. They made good use of its natural form, while also pulling out the soul from within. Oh. 
if Willie's here, then Kaysen must be here as well somewhere. I mean, obviously Kaysen's here because he's the one who planted all the red trees around the countryside. But, um, yeah. The artificial color also looks pretty. You don't usually see this level of harmony. Something unnatural always ends up getting left behind. Zach, did you catch all that? She sounded just like the curator of an art gallery in New York. I think we may have just uncovered a new side of her. But unfortunately, I can't see anything artistic about it. Honestly, it looks insane to me. That's all I get from it. And there's no way that this is a descendant of the tree that the general planted. All right, come on. Third third time's the charm. Let's go to... Where are you taking me now? Oh, he's running back the other... Oh, he's going to run across the bridge, isn't he? Why couldn't we just... Why couldn't we go north and then run across the bridge there? God damn you, Willy. Damn you and your... Bloody roundabout way of leading me on investigations. In fairness, I sp I mean... <sighs> I was going to say, I suppose it is possible that, Lo that Lo York doesn't lose his memory about um, Willy, and it's just that... Because, I mean, if I saw a Dalmatian and then I saw another Dalmatian, I wouldn't go, Oh my god, it's that Dalmatian I saw five years ago! But considering... The, the connection between the Red Trees and the Dalmatians, York probably would have made that connection. Willy. Willy. God damn you, Willy. Um, oh, what I was going to say earlier is I finished the uh, <coughs> Abyssal Beads. Well, the Abyssal Beads is one of them. I finished the Five Beads quest for um, Frida. Um, for the Mirror. Why are we going to the water? W Willy, I can't swim. God damn you, dog. <laughs> Such a goddamn troll. <laughs> Such a troll. He's just like, follow me. It's like, no, there's no swimming mechanic in this game, you damn daft dog. Where is he? Willy, I hate you. I really hate you. I want you to know this. Get again. You're not in. Get, get, there we go. <sighs> I finished the. I'll get this out eventually. I've got plenty of time. Trust me. I know where he's going. I've got. I finished the beads quest for the mirror and turned the five beads in. And I was expecting. I was expecting a bracelet. Considering you can't get it until. Um, the latter part of chapter two. So you can really only use it in Act th in Chapter Three. I was expecting a really good um, new bracelet. It's not great. So it's it's. I think it gives me plus one to firepower, reload speed, and accuracy. Plus one. Now I can upgrade it. I upgraded it once. It's now got plus two. Uh, to power, and I can then upgrade it a third time, so it gives me plus three to power, reload, speed, and accuracy. Now, for an item that is... You're going to crouch. Yeah. For an item that is the culmination of five other side quests. That's bullshit. Which is... I mean, all of the side quests. God damn you, Willy. All of the side quests in this game are bullshit. Um... So, I mean, it's in keeping, but more so than anything else, this, that one was bullshit. They did. It was, it was interesting. You might remember I did a quest for um, uh, the one whose name sets off my uh, Amazon home, and... Uh, ooh. 
Look, I can use my torch here. These are the little molehills I was talking about. I can use my torch there, and I can steal a duck feather. See? Whatever. Um. Sorry, I got distracted by the hole. The um. I did a quest for her to get some ingredients. But it didn't tell, it just said find rice, and then gave me no indication where the rice was. Her brother, David, uh, who owns the hotel, gave me a separate side quest, eventually, um, to collect ingredients for him. But now the, 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 the quest now tells me where it says go collect um, onion from the drawbridge. So I have a feeling they might have patched that in because people complained. Find rice in an open world game with no indication of where the rice is. It's not good game design. That's, I would dare say, bad game design. But you know. I mean, we're talking about good game design. I've been, I spent the last 10 minutes running around after a Dalmatian. Like, this is the time to put in conversation. Why are York and Patty not talking to each other? Why is York not talking to himself? Like, of all the places where you could put in conversation... Like, and I said the same thing again when I was playing with Emily and Kaysen. They stopped to talk, and then they ran in silence for five minutes. And so why not, put the con why not just put the conversation over the running so that the player, i.e. me, has something to do... Whilst we're running around following this stupid dog doing a roundabout trick to Lena's lean, house. Look, Lena's house is over there. Why are we going towards the sugar plantation? Oh, are well, you going to take me to the clerks? Oh, are we skipping Lena's house altogether? Oh, we might be skipping. Oh, we're going to the plantation. There aren't any red trees here. Okay. Apparently we're going to the sugar plantation. I didn't think there were any red trees here, but I, in fairness, I haven't... I haven't actually explored the sugar plantation um, super thoroughly, so... Um, Willie, I can't... Oh, damn it, Willie. I hate this dog. I really hope there's a bit with Old Man York where where, where Willie, Old Man York sees Willy and he just, just loses his shit and he's just like, fuck off! You bloody dog! Oh, there is a red tree over here. Look at that. I haven't really been over here. I have been over here once. I think I... I think I've been. I think I came over the top bit and then went down there. So I haven't been over this section. I can't remember what I came over here for. Maybe there was an Avery photo that needed to go. I needed to come over here for. Um, Willie, I'm just going to ignore you and just go straight to the tree. If that's okay. Yeah. So this this is what the tree in the Clarksons. Um, Where's Willie? There he is. This is I can't click on it until Willie gets here. This is what the tree in the Clarkson's garden looks like. So it's got like these weird, ominous looking veins. I'm guessing that, that Lena has a tree like this in her garden as well, and just the York didn't notice that. Zach, now this is interesting. It looks like a tree that you could find anywhere, yet it's also unlike any other, completely alien. And look how it's weaved its way into the landscape. Almost like cancer cells invading a human body. You might not even notice it unless you're focused on finding it. And this feeling. As I gaze upon this tree, I can feel evil emotions rising out from within me. Why on earth did that southern general bring this tree into this town? Oh, is that suggesting that Kaysen's been around since the Civil War? No. 
I promise to protect you from all the evil in our world. Do not touch this tree. Got that, Patty? Got it, Agent York. Okay. I found... I followed the eerie Dalmatian. We successfully spoke with the 17 comrades. I feel like they showed us a side of nature that transcends the realms of human knowledge. Oh, what if... No. Next up is the Holy Allah. According to the Oracle, the Holy Allah needs to be filled. We may be due for another childish puzzle soon, Zack. But that's okay. After all, we came all the way out here to the boondocks. Why not enjoy playing by their rules for a bit? So I noticed that um, Willy has just disappeared. Oh, here's an eerie donation. I was going to say, what if it turns out? If it, I'm, I'm going to say this now, and I don't, I'm not calling this. I'm just going to say this as a. Imagine if this is the thing, and if it turns out to be true, I want you to know. I want to. I want. I'm going to say it again when it, if it happens. And I'm saying it now, but it's stupid. Hey, Agent what if, York. What if yes? Willie? Is that? Is, Sorry, never mind. I think I was just seeing things. I don't know why I clicked on Patricia while I was mid-talking. Um, what if Willy and Hungan are the same person? And Hungan, Willy is just like the form that Hungan takes when he's in the material world. Now, like I said. Oh, that's just really loud. I thought, bloody hell, did someone just crash their car into the lake? No, oh, it's just an alligator. I don't for a second believe that uh, Hungan and Willy are the same person. Um, well, obviously, because one of them's a dog. But um, they're not the same person. I don't believe they're the same entity. But I'm just putting it out there as a possibility. Put it into the world. Because you have no idea who Hungan is. Like, he's obviously connected to like the red world and the white room and the white world in the same way that Harry was in Deadly Premonitions and the same way that York is because well they can see all of the spooky shit that happens but I'm just saying I'm putting, I'm putting it out there now it is a possibility and if it turns out to be true it's stupid Because we know nothing about Hoongan. This thing sure looks tall when you look at it up close. But why do they gotta build it up so high anyway? The height gives them the necessary pressure to pump the water out. Also, building it in a spot where anyone could easily access it would only create more problems. Problems? In a certain Missouri town, they built the water tower low enough that a person could easily climb up to it. And that's exactly where a mass murderer decided to hide the bodies of all his victims. The water tower was so low to the ground that he could even climb up to it while carrying a dead body on his back. Ooh, that's a dramatic cigarette drop. Incidentally, they ended up finding a total of 43 bodies in there. But the part that truly shocked Zack and I wasn't the number of bodies, Patty. What? It was the fact that over the six months from the first murder to when the case was solved, that whole time, the townspeople had been drinking the water. Agent York, look! I think we can climb up from there. Let's go. Yeah, but stop Patty, I was just getting to the good part. Please stop talking about your corpse water. Um, though that did... Um, that one, you know, there is. I, I did. I remember did hearing a story, and it's a, it's a, it's the um, the source of a lot of conspiracies. There was a woman who was seen in, in a lift elevator, if you will, um, acting suspicious on a camera, like she was being chased by someone or something, um, and then she disappeared, and so they found her. Looking in the water down on tower. it from here, it's hard to imagine any bad stuff ever happened at all. And they only checked because someone complained the water tasted funny. Listen carefully, Patricia. You just leave Melvin to me. I promise I'll take care of things. You're grown up. 
You're more of an adult than anyone else in this town, I guarantee it. But that doesn't mean you have to suffer through everything without ever saying a word about it. Just remember that, okay? Is that a squirrel? Zack, it looks like the Holy Allah hasn't been sucking up water properly. No wonder the shower in our hotel room felt so weak. Patty, who manages this water tower? This is Lucare. You should know the answer to that by now. The Clarksons. Judging from their current situation, I don't think they'll be able to give us a timely response. Yeah. <laughs> Danny's still going around collecting protection money. Do you know where the water comes from? Probably Isaac Lake. That settles it. Let's fill the Holy Allah and solve this problem ourselves. I knew you were going to say that, Agent York. Oh, I've been up there. The, um... Again, when I was hunting gators over there. I climbed up the, uh, I climbed, I think it let me do it. Pretty sure it did. Um, onto the top and just, I was looking for materials more than anything else. I think I can fast travel over there, otherwise I'm going to have to skateboard over there. Uh, nope, I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to skateboard. Okay, let's skateboard. And here's the conclusion it helped me reach. Look at this. Elias' method isn't very um, time effective. It's like, we need to go and so solve this case. Okay, I'm going to go and stare at the suspect for 49 hours. Can you not just arrest them and ask them questions? No. I need to look at the actions, to the inactions, to the actions. <laughs> 